Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Couple of things I gotta address first. Uh, number one, audio should be great. I'm so excited that we are now filming on a new microphone that I recently purchased. I posted up over on Instagram. In case you haven't been following, that's where you go to get all the latest updates, including when uh, Starbucks smell my name wrong, or I buy new equipment, or new makeup. That's where you go Instagram. But new microphone uh, this is my first test run with it so let me know if the audio sounds better to you i was just tired of picking up a lot of atmospheric noise like things i can't control that happens around me the neighbors the birds the cars things like that so i decided to really just invest in a directional mic that hopefully will solve all of our audio problems because realistically the built-in microphone on a dslr just isn't that great uh, second thing is of course I've kind of rearranged the background a bit for today's video. This is a test of many things um, I usually film off to the side there with the window big old window coming in from my right side and I have a reflector fill on my left side to balance things out But of course that is not ideal I would ideally love to be just smack in front of a great large window, which I am right now um, The only issue with this though is that you've got all this background business that you have to look at I have tried to rearrange your furniture a little bit so hopefully it's not terribly distracting but again let me know if this is just too much stuff do you prefer the blank wall um, and I'm thinking because it's summertime and I get a lot of natural light from this big old window that I might as well make use of it the best that I can or maybe even film some um, makeup related videos because you can really get the good natural light okay so that's the preface to this video again let me know your thoughts down below and now we can go and talk about products. So today's video is really about products that have not worked out well for me. And I thought about how to name this, I don't know, series or this set of videos and I thought, unfavorites. Um, just because, you know, I talk about favorite products all the time, but there's often things that are just just not working for me despite multiple trials, despite um, tweaking things here and there, despite lots of personal research, you know, blah, blah, blah. It's just not working out for my skin type or for my makeup preferences or just for my expectations. Um, so I'm going to talk about five products today. And by all means, if these are your favorite products, don't listen to me, keep on using them. Um, because realistically, we all have different skin types and uh, preferences when it comes to our beauty look and things like that. But if you have similar um, characteristics, shall I say, uh, to my uh, skin or my facial features, or you like this type of makeup that I normally wear, like we're in sync, um, then these might not be the products for you. And you know, Take the information and use it how you will. Um, maybe it'll help you out next time you're out in the store, okay? So let's jump into some products. All right, first product on the list is um, a air cushion from a Korean brand called Apu. This is the Air Fit uh, Cushion Foundation SPF 50 PA Triple Plus. This is from the brand Apu, which is quite an affordable Korean beauty brand. This is probably one of the least expensive cushion foundations you can buy um, online, at least off of eBay, which is where I get most of my Korean beauty products. Uh, this ran me about maybe $13 or so. The whole thing, including the the refill or the you know the the cushion itself plus the outer case. So all together, this whole thing about 13 bucks, 14 I think. Um, with the exchange rate, but really, really inexpensive, okay? This comes in two shades, 21 and 23. I picked up 21 because it seemed like the less pink of the two, um, but unfortunately, two issues. Number one, color, it was still quite pink. Um, number two, it was, it never quite melded with my skin. The reason I love a lot of cushion foundations is that they sit well, they give you that flawless, um, kind of really soft and ethereal skin look. I love how it just melts in with your skin. But this one doesn't. This just really sat on top of my skin. It kind of floated on top. Um, and the color wasn't great either. I was thinking of jumping into 23, the darker shade. But looking at swatches online, I don't think it would have been much help anyways. Because the formula just did not... Um, kind of blend well with the skin it was rather obvious after a couple hours that you're wearing foundation because it just starts to separate and float on top of your skin um 
Unfortunately, no go for me despite how affordable this one is from MapPayU. Next thing here is really actually a cult favorite from a lot of people and I was so so excited um, when I got this I was like oh it's gonna be great everybody's talking about it my skin is gonna be fantastic um, I felt like it didn't do anything for my skin now maybe I don't have the right type of skin for this maybe I had really high expectations but the pixie uh, glow tonic this is the exfoliating toner with 5% glycolic acid did nothing for my skin uh, just, it, I mean, it was an okay toner if I was just going to use it as a toner, but for a treatment toner, I was very not impressed. Um, I have since moved on to glycolic treatment creams and products, which really have an effect on my skin and, you know, they, they work quick, they work well, and they do what they're supposed to do. This thing, I guess you can say it's gentle, but I just feel like it wasn't enough. Like, if I'm going to do a glycolic, I'm going to do a glycolic and not just a really weak type of water thing. So this stuff did not work out well for my skin. It didn't make my skin any worse, but it definitely did not make it any better. And um, I wasn't fond of the scent either. I wasn't fond of kind of the slight stickiness that it left. I think I just, I had a lot of expectations for the glow tonic and this one just did not deliver for me. Now moving back into real makeup, I actually have a lot of base product issues here in this video, this unfavorites. Uh, this is the Cover Effects BB Gel Mattifying Anti-Blemish Treatment. So this sounded great. Um, it has coverage, it's supposed to be like quite um, skin perfecting, and it has a salicylic acid treatment as part of the, you know, concoction. I'm like, great, this will be fantastic for my skin um, because I do still get breakouts once in a while. I try to control it with the skincare, but you know, it's not perfect. So I have this in the shade G, light medium, which I believe is the lightest shade they have in the golden range. The great thing I do love about Cover Effects is that their coloring system is broken down into cool tone, neutral tone, and golden tones, which allows you to choose your perfect undertone and then choose the intensity. So you won't get stuck with something like, you know, you're very pale, but you have a golden or neutral tone versus a pinky undertone or vice versa. You really have a lot of options here with Cover Effects. Effects. But the BB gel was just awkward. It would not blend into my skin. Um, it set really quickly. So as soon as you start um, trying to manipulate it, it starts setting and getting patchy all over your face. It was just hard to smooth it out. Um, and I had a lot of trouble making it look even and then just making it look good all together. Um, it grabbed onto any dry patches I had. I know this is a mattifying BB cream, but you gotta know that if you have um, acne or spots, you're often using treatments that dry out the area a little bit, and your skin can be a little flaky or a little dehydrated, and, and in that um, sense, a product that clings to dry patches really isn't going to be beneficial in terms of uh, you know making your skin look great. So I had such a hard time working with this product, and I've tried so many different tools, the beauty blenders, the brushes, my hands. It was just a fuss. It was really fussy. I also didn't think the color was great because it seemed to oxidize on my skin. Um, this one, G Light Medium, was already a little bit dark. Like It comes out really dark. It blends on your skin a little bit lighter, but then it sets and it oxidizes. And it, and it was just really, really a mess. So the Cover FX BB Gel is not for me. Another base product, great SPF, great brand. I love a lot of their products, but this one was such a mess. And it was a little bit heartbreaking because I was really looking forward to loving this product. And every time I pick it up, I try it again, I come back to the realization that it's just not the right one for me. And this is the Dermalogica Ultra Sensitive Tint SPF 30. This is a chemical, um, nope. Rewind, this is a physical sunblock, um, which is great. If you break out with a lot of um, chemical sunscreens like I do, I try to avoid those or kind of space it out so I'm not using the chemical sunscreen back to back to back. This one is tinted, 
But that's not my main problem. My main problem is that this is so hydrating that I, it almost makes my skin just feel a little gross, a little greasy. If you have very sensitive skin, this one is super gentle. It has a tiny bit of a tint, um, which is a little dark for my skin, but it's not unworkable. My main issue with this is again that it's just too emollient for my skin. It never seems to set or dry. It just kind of floats around on my skin. And if you're trying to use this during the summertime, which is um, how I think most people will gravitate towards the SPF 30, this is not ideal unless you have very, very dry skin. Um, great brand, like I said. I like a lot of their products, but this SPF tinted thing, I was excited, but not for me. Last thing on our list is a hair care set which was really kind of revolutionary when it came out you know there was a lot of hype about it um i think currently it was voted one of the best hair care products by some magazine or the other but it's popular is what i'm trying to say um and i was actually rather excited when i first got it but the concept while revolutionary on paper was not practical for me. Um, this is the Tresemme Beautiful Volume, um, I guess, conditioner and shampoo. So they've got this thing where they say, hey, in order to get great volume in your hair, you should condition first and then shampoo instead of doing shampoo, then conditioner. Um, sure, why not? I gave it a try. But my main issue with this set was that, well, sometimes, you know, if I'm curling my hair or I do something to it, and I know most of you do this as well, you put styling products in your hair. I don't want to put conditioner straight over my styling products that's already on my hair when my hair is already feeling a little gross. Like, I need for it to have a wash, or if your hair is, you know, greasy at the roots and you're just ready for a wash, I don't want to put moisturizing, conditioning things over dirty hair and hair that has styling products in it. That was not practical um, when it came to everyday life. The shampoo was fine, the conditioner was fine on its own, I just did not get along with the concept of using the conditioner first and then the shampoo. Um, I think if you don't use styling products in your hair or you wash your hair maybe every day or every other day, um, this might be a good try for you, but if you're like me, uh-uh not gonna work. It just feels a little gross to be putting conditioner over dirty hair. That's all I'm gonna say. And that's it. That wraps up our very first unfavorite video. I feel really good about this actually because I finally got like all this anger about these products out of my system and now all of you know about it. Um, of course, like I say, you got tips and tricks on how I'm using it wrong or how it works out for you. Let me know because I want to know how um, these things don't work out for other people, especially because a lot of them are quite popular products. So I love to hear your thoughts. Love to chat with you over on social media. Um, and until next time in our next video, take care of yourselves. See you soon. Bye.